Okay, this is it. I've played the perfect game. All I need to do is push a little further and... Cody is the last vote. Oh, crap. Hey guys, what's up? It's the Rookie Revolution, and today we are going to be talking about Big Brother players who were just one move away from winning the whole game. Whether it was a competition they lost, one jury member they pissed off, a twist. There are so many ways this can happen, and I for one cannot wait to start talking about them. So without further ado, let's begin. So the first one I want to talk about is Dr. Will getting evicted on Big Brother 7, the first all-star season at the Final Four. There are actually two different scenarios that would have ended with Will winning the season. But the first one I want to talk about was very bizarre, ridiculous, and you honestly might not believe me. But first, let's talk about a backstory of his game on Big Brother 7. Dr. Will went on this season with the intent to help Mike Boogie win. He even went as far as to refuse to go on this season unless Boogie was with him, because realistically, Boogie wasn't really an all-star, at least compared to the rest of the cast. Will, for a lot of the season, was doing things more in the interest of Boogie rather than himself. But even with that, he got them out of a lot of sticky situations, made some insane game moves. Now, a lot of you have come up to me and you've said, Will, you don't really seem like you want to play. And you said, why? And I said to myself, I don't know. So I had to heart to heart with myself. And this is the truth. Season two, there was a lot of people I hated. It was easy for me to motivate and find individuals that I disliked, and it gave me power. Then I thought, so why haven't I had that motivation? And I thought it was because I really liked everyone here. But then I realized it was the opposite of that. I hate you all. There's no one I hate more than anyone else. I'm gonna ask to be removed from this game. If you refuse to kick me out, I will be throwing every competition. I will do the best I can to ensure that we all are on slop. Unless you have a big group meeting and vote me out. Don't use it, vote me out. Hey Boogie, get this, you're not gonna believe it. What? Big Brother All-Stars, I go in front of the entire house guest group and I say, I hate you all. No one voted even against me. Everyone voted against Jace. <laughs> and made it all the way to the final four. And one of Boogie and Will's strategies was Operation Double Date, in which Boogie pursues and showmances Erica and Will showmances Janelle. Chill Town is on a little mission right now called Operation, Operation Double, Double Date. Date. And the way it works is I get very close to Erica, Will gets very close to Janelle using our charisma, good looks, and winsome personalities. What these girls think is that they're winning our hearts and they're manipulating us, but what we're really doing is ripping their hearts out of their chest and squeezing the blood in the pocket of their cheap blouses before they can blink twice. Will and Janelle both had significant others back at home, so Will only went as far as flirting. But Janelle was just smitten with Will and seemingly forgot about her boyfriend. Janelle listens to me because she's in love with me. I have a boyfriend. I have a girlfriend. I'm not into you, Will. I'm not into you, Janelle. <laughs> She was, in the end, more attached to him than he was to her. But as time passed, all Will would do was flirt and reject her physical advances, so she started to feel annoyed and crazy. She pretty much told Will that if he doesn't kiss her, she's done. Keep in mind, at this point in the final four, Mike was HOH and Janelle won veto, so it was Erica and Will on the block, with Janelle as the sole vote to evict. So Janelle pretty much wanted Will to kiss her to prove that this wasn't all fake, but Will still stayed faithful to his girlfriend and Janelle being annoyed ranted to Erica who pretty much validated all of Janelle's worries and it kind of solidified it to Janelle that it really was all fake. So with her being annoyed she cold heartedly evicts Will at the final four. I feel like this summer I've made a lot of mistakes and um, after tonight I'm done making mistakes. I vote to evict you Will. Will has said countless times in interviews that if he kisses Janelle he wins the season because if Janelle evicts Erica Will is protected on both sides. Boogie and Janelle take him and he wins pretty much in a landslide to both. All Will had to do to win Big Brother 7 was kiss Janelle, but he made some mistakes. Like he probably shouldn't have left Janelle with Erica and he probably shouldn't have been so cold to her at the end. Operation Double Date worked too well. Janelle is refusing to take no for an answer. She wants me to kiss her. She wants me to be in the hot tub with her. She wants me to sleep in the same bed with her. I don't know what to do. She's driving me absolutely insane. I go. Excuse me? I said, sweetheart. Get the hell away from me. You're used to getting everything you've ever wanted in your entire life. Will and I had our first argument tonight. The fight was about the way Will was treating me. Wrong trait, you're marking it up. Can I talk to you, please? I don't want to talk to Will. That girl is crazy. She is nuts. One thing about girls, girls talk. And those guys should have known. Those two ladies were going to compare notes, and they did what they had to do. I will give credit where credit is due. They spank my ass, both cheeks. They're still red, and it still hurts. Emotionally, he does have me. I have a way tighter bond with Will than I do with Eric. And he knows that, and so he kind of uses it against me. I'm not fair. 
but it's crazy to think about not kissing someone is a reason that you lose a season. Will's now married to the person he was dating, so I doubt he has any regrets about this anyways, although Boogie was pissed and his eviction vote on Big Brother 14 showed he still had a sour taste in his mouth. This little gem is dedicated to Will and Aaron. I vote to evict Janelle. Oh Janie, don't be mad at the people that voted you out. This one was all me. So for the third time, always the bridesmaid, but never the big brother bride. Bye bye Janelle. He's such a loser. <laughs> So for the other scenario on Big Brother 7 that pretty much ensures a Will win, in the final 5 veto competition, Will broke his thumb just losing 2 seconds to Erica. I really had this competition wrapped up. I was ready for my first victory in Big Brother history, but I couldn't get my veto medallion across the rope. In fact, broke my thumb in the process. If he didn't break his thumb and won that veto, Erica goes home in which Chicken George takes her place in the final 4. Which means even if Will never kisses Janelle, Erica's never there to validate Janelle's worries, so chances are Janelle doesn't evict Will. And the same case scenario happens where in the final three, with Janelle and Boogie, Will is pretty much guaranteed first place because they're both going to take him. If Will was sitting next to Boogie, I wouldn't be surprised if in his speech he pretty much tells everyone to vote for Boogie, as he was more around for him and they allegedly split the money anyways. This all didn't really age well with their friendship though unfortunately, but these two scenarios are just crazy to think about and Will really could have been the only two-time champion. We are chill down. We work quickly. We work secretly. We are ninjas. No one knows what we're doing. No one knows we're together. Chill down. Don't get worked up. We work by secret. Time for this chill town meeting. Next person we have, I'm still not over the outcome. It's Vanessa on Big Brother 17, one of the best players to never win. Vanessa, across 17 seasons of this game, I am thoroughly convinced that you are the strongest female player this game has ever seen. Your strategy has been beyond brilliant. You're such a talker. You're so charismatic. I, as a fan, so admire everything about your game. I know you can talk your way in with that jury. You always told me that I had to make a move I could justify to the super fans and to my family. I can't justify taking the stronger player with me, which means I'm so, so sorry. Vanessa, I have to vote to evict you. The move is very simple. Well, I actually have two ideas in how she can go from third place to first place, and this all takes place in the final stretch, the final three. For a reminder, the final three was Liz, Vanessa, and Steve. Now, in part one of the final HOH competition, it came down to Vanessa and Liz. Now, Liz was going to take Vanessa to the final two. Well, in this scenario, she does. You can never be positive, but I think it was very likely. What Vanessa should have done was throw part one to Liz. Vanessa was a comp beast winning four HOHs and three power of vetoes. If she went into part two, I think she had a better shot at beating Steve than Liz did as Steve originally won. I think if Vanessa competes against Steve, it will also make him more nervous. What I'm trying to say is I would be very confident in Vanessa's abilities in part two, which makes it a Liz versus Vanessa part three, and either way, Vanessa makes it to the final two. Vanessa lost by just one point in part three the first time, but either way, Way, whoever wins evicts Steve. And here's how I predict the jury in a Liz vs Vanessa scenario. Shelly votes for Vanessa, Jackie votes for Vanessa, Becky votes for Vanessa, Meg votes for Vanessa, James votes for Vanessa, Julia votes for Liz, Austin votes for Liz, Johnny Mac votes for Vanessa, and Steve votes for Vanessa making it a 7-2 victory in which Vanessa becomes the rightful winner of Big Brother 17. The other scenario is that she just beat Steve in part 3, but you can't blame her on the part 3 HOH because they're complete crapshoots and they aggravate me every time I watch them. Either way, whichever scenario happens, as long as Vanessa makes the final two, she wins. And if you think differently, you must be like silly and you just sealed your fate. I'm not a liar, let me tell you. I will put my hand on the Bible. Put your hand on the Bible. Bible. Are you tripping? You, You're gonna no. say that right? Oh my God, you, you must be like silly. Don't you dare. I'm sorry, really? you just sealed your fate. Next is a super well-known one. It's one that everyone references as one of the worst moves, if not the worst move of all time and that award goes to Cody Calafuri. I want to talk about him strictly on Big Brother 16 for now. I'm ride or die guy. Started with him on day two. Gotta make it to the final two. I'm so sorry, Victoria. You know I love you. Cody and Derek had the Hitman Alliance the whole game. It was no doubt the most dominant alliance in the history of the show. I'm sorry, but it was. Cody was seen as more of a right-hand
right-hand guy and someone who only really contributed competition-wise, while Derek was seen as the puppet master. We all know Derek played a flawless game, but when it came down to the final three of Cody, Derek, and Victoria, Cody won part one of the HOH, Derek won part two, and Cody won part three, making Cody have the decision of who sits next to him. Derek the mastermind and the guy who everyone adored, or Victoria, who even on finale night, still didn't know what show she was on. Cody stayed loyal and evicted Victoria. And as everyone knows, Cody lost in a 7-2 vote. He never had a chance against Derek. With that said, if Cody evicted Derek, he easily wins the season. This followed Cody around everywhere. Because his two words in evicting Victoria cost him $500,000. In postseason interviews, everyone even admitted that Cody would have won with it being either a 7-2 or 8-1 vote because Derek would for sure be bitter and Frankie is a wild card. Cody completely redeemed himself in Big Brother 22, winning 9-0, and I actually think he is one of the best players of all time now. No doubt in my mind that I'm going on this season, and I'm going to win. This, as you know, Cody, is indeed a half million dollar decision. Nicole, I'm so sorry. I feel like I'm so much more deserving of the $500,000 than I was the first time I played. I can actually say that with confidence this time. Congratulations, Cody. You are the winner of Big Brother All-Stars. But when you look back at this move, he literally did just throw away $500,000 for friendship, which is just not a factor in this game. And production screwing Daniel Reyes. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you want me to do a part two. Follow me on all the social medias. Links in the description. Until next time, take care.